Hi, welcome to the Balanced Body Podcast. We're coming here today from Edgewood Tahoe Golf Course. My name is Ada Wells. I'm a physical therapist and Pilates instructor and owner of Pro Balance in Alameda, California. Joining us today will be Lisa O'Hurley, who will be demonstrating the golf swing. And what I would like to do is talk to you a little bit about some of the components of the golf swing and how it pertains to Pilates. Now Lisa today is not wearing the normal attire that would be usually present for golf, but you'll be able to really evaluate all the areas of rotation and stability that we need to see. So let me go ahead and we'll have Lisa just line up and do a full swing for us, just so you can take a look to see what a golf swing looks like. Now starting from the ground up, some of the things that we want to look at is just maybe let's start at a dress position. We want to look, we notice that with golfers we want to emphasize having good alignment in the legs. So as a Pilates instructor, when we have them do any sort of leg work or foot work on the reformer, we want to make sure that they're able to maintain good alignment. From here, let's go ahead and go into just the backswing and hold the backswing for me. At the backswing, you can see where she needs to have mobility at the ankle, stability at the knee, and mobility at the hip, and stability at the lumbar spine. And then we see that mobility in the thoracic spine that she needs. Go ahead and go on through there, Lisa. Good. And at the finish position, she needs to make sure she has good rotation, especially internal rotation in the left hip, and as well as mobility in the ankle and thoracic mobility. Go ahead and come on back. So let's see that once again in real time. Beautiful. So what we want to do is, is with all of our exercises is keep this in mind. The other thing that's important is when a golfer is initiating their golf swing, we want to make sure that they're initiating it from the correct place and that is coming from the pelvis and from the ground forces. So when she's, she's lining up for her swing, we want to make sure that when she goes into, go ahead and go into your back swing, okay? At that transition point when she's going to start her downswing, it's actually going to be coming from the pelvis and from her lower body then to go ahead and continue on through. If she initiates the swing from her arms, if she doesn't have good dissociation at the upper and lower body, she's going to then have difficulty being able to keep the accuracy and consistency in her swing. So let's go ahead and hit a ball and see what it looks like. All right, straight down the fairway. All right, so what we're going to look at here is a, a short chip shot. And what's nice about this shot, um, a nice thing to notice is that this is where our weight shifting and balance really becomes critical. What we want to make sure on here is because typically in a chip shot like this, she's going to be placing most of her weight, maybe 75% of her weight, on the lead leg. So theoretically, she's standing on one, she could perform the shot standing on one foot and performing the shot. So you can see where this can be applicable as you're working on your functional exercises for your Pilates um, students that are golfers, making sure that you integrate exercises where she's in a forward flex position and doing balance work and making sure that that's um, something that you are integrating into her program.